All right. We'll start off with your your description. How excited were you, like, just creating this album? You know, see XOXO. How was it? I mean, it was such a it was such a different process than any of the other albums because, you know, it really felt like. I mean, that's why it's signed CXOXO. Uh, you know, there were no other co-writers. Um, it was really me, Gincho, and and Jasper, my producers. Um, Gincho's my executive producer, and we just kind of bunkered down and um, Bart, my vocal engineer, and we just. Yeah, we were in it for a year and a half. And I was just every morning, I would just kind of write lyrics. And, you know, it just like really feels like so from me to you, like unfiltered and like the purest expression of myself creatively at, at this time. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited for everybody to hear because I really feel like it's my best work so far. That's amazing. Where did you find most of the recording happening? Most of the recording happened in Miami, um, which is very fitting for a album that is dedicated to Miami. But then there were also, um, there was like one song, which you can hear that uh, it's called 20 somethings where we, it was a week that uh, we were recording and writing at electric lady. Um, so that's what I'm saying about cross the bridge from uh, New York, Manhattan to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, most of it was in Miami, a little bit in LA, a little bit in New York, and actually some of it in the Bahamas. We took a little Bahamas trip. Nice. What were your main inspirations when you're compiling this new album together? Obviously you mentioned Miami. What else comes to mind? We had a lot of visual inspiration from Spring Breakers. Like I basically, I had put a little Pinterest board together um, and I had a Pinterest board the first week of being in the studio. I had a Pinterest board three months in. I have a Pinterest board for like everything I do. Um, I had a Pinterest board a week ago when making uh, this music video. And I think about six months in when I was kind of writing these songs, um, I was taking pictures of this kind of like girl gang energy, like the spring baker breakers, like girls with like the ski masks on and it feeling kind of very empowering and kind of dangerous and uh yeah like tapping into that kind of like dangerous side of yourself um so that was a big reference and I was listening to a lot of rap uh I was listening to Ethel Kane I was reading a lot of poetry I was reading a lot of female writers I was reading a lot of Sally Rooney and books about writing so yeah it was there was a lot a lot of me so soaking things in so that I could you know from a lot of different places to you know to write the shit out of it yeah and when you put all that together is there any overall like theme that you have when you think of this album i think there's a big theme of like coming of age and celebrating girlhood and what it is to be a girl that's learning to be a woman it's going absolutely so obviously when this comes out all the songs will be out but right now um of the ones that haven't been released what is the song you're most excited for fans to listen to I'm most excited for people to listen to um, Chanel number no. five mm. uh, because I feel like that was when I wrote that song. That's when I was like, "This is CXOXO. This is the world of CXOXO. This is the voice. This is the perspective that I'm gonna kind of write the rest of the album from. Like this kind of lip gloss, uh, kind of like." very in control whimsical but also kind of harder kind of perspective um and then also dade county dreaming because that's the other kind of centerpiece of uh the album which is like the love letter to miami and also hot up town with drake because it's a banger and um i just that's one of my favorite songs on the album so fun all right, kind of wrapping up like the experiences of making it. Does any memory stick out as one you'll remember the most during the making of this album? <laughs> I'm thinking about this line in this song called Dream Girls, where we went to the Bahamas. I mean, there's so many stories when it comes mm -hmm. to every every line, literally, I could tell you like kind of where it comes from or a story, but it's just made me laugh because there's a line in Dream Girls where we were at, we were at the Bahamas. We went to a studio in the Bahamas for 10 days to finish making the album. 
And I say finished because we still worked on it for like three months more after that. It was not done. And there's a line where I was going to fly my friends out to the Bahamas to just hang out. But then I was like, guys, I am so like busy. I was like so much writing that I still have to do and so much work left to be done. And we basically got into a fight, but I had already like written that line because I was going to fly them out. Mm. And because there was a line in the song, I was like, flew, flew the girls to Bahamas for a night out. And we just, my friends and I always laugh at that line because we're like, we didn't go to the Bahamas. We actually just got into a fight. <laughs> That's so funny. So like, yeah, the big, best memory is something that didn't even happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't okay. even, that's not even funny, but it's just a, a story. Hey, we'll take it. Absolutely. So just like a brief talking about the below, like these, these songs. And I don't know, again, it can be anything that comes to mind, what you want people to be like feeling when they listen to it. Uh, we'll start with He Knows featuring Lil Nas X. What can you tell us about that? Oof. He Knows is that song that you play before you go out. You know, I really wrote it about just like what is the song that I'm writing for my friends and I, before we go, I feel our most confident before we're about to snatch up a man's soul. I love it is up next after that. I love it is a song that you play when you're driving through the highway. And I wrote it about just feeling powerful and badass. Swerving, swerving lanes. Love it. Um, Chanel number five. What can you tell us about that? I wrote Chanel number five about this guy that I used to date who loved that scent on me, Chanel number five. Mm -hmm. And it's my favorite song I've ever written in my entire life. I can't even, it actually just made me emotional to even think about that song. <laughs> even on Zoom. That's how you know it's real. Seriously. Um, <laughs> Hot Uptown featuring Drake. The fact I'm like emotional, I guess, right now. Because I'm I'm like, I just had like these kind of clips of this the songs playing in my head, and I'm like, I literally before I went, I, I was doing this, I was like 14 singing. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. And I was like singing headlines and like, I just, I was listening to Drake since I was so young. And the fact that I have a song with him. You. Yeah. And the fact that there are such bangers is mm. like, it's just so, it's just like one of those like, Wow, I could never have told you that this was going to happen, you know? So it's it's really, I, I really am, yeah, it's like emotional to think about like what I feel like I've kind of achieved on this album. Wow. It's giving me chills thinking about because that's such a, a cool thing. Congrats again so much. Um, last one, Dade County Dreaming featuring JT and Young Miami. Man, I also feel like this song, you know, Dade County Dreaming, Dade County is... um. Dade County Dreamin', you know, I've lived in Dade County all my life. I moved there when I was seven years old from Cuba. And I have so much love for the city that I grew up in because it really took my family and I in when, you know, our homes were just like not the right place for us. And I live there now. And I love that line in in that I wrote that, it's like um, party in the city that party like I forgot I was famous party in the city that raised us <laughs> because it just feels like that's how it feels when I go there now when I'm out with my friends. It's like, yeah, like this city raised us and we have so many memories here and I still get to experience it like in experience it in different ways. It's amazing.